Okay, at what time are the cars traveling at the same speed? Okay, so we want to find a particular point in time where they're going the same exact speed. So how do we do that? Well, basically, speed means derivative, right? So what we want to do is take their derivatives, set them equal to each other, and find the t-value where that's true. Remember, a lot of times in math, it's all about wording. When we see speed, we should think derivative. So here is our derivative for the blue car. We've already figured it out to be t. If you remember from the previous examples, the derivative of the red car, the speed is 1 half e to the 1 half t. So we're just going to set those two equations equal to each other. In other words, b prime of t equals r prime of t. So here, and you're pretty much going to need a calculator for this. Um, you can basically get, uh, there's, there's different ways to do it. Just subtract t from both sides and graph that equation. So 1 half e to the 1 half t minus t equals 0. Find the x-intercepts. That will give you where they equal each other. And actually twice. Okay, There are two times where these cars are going the same speed. t is approximately 0.71, so right before 1 second. And also, t is approximately 4.3. Those cars are going pretty much the same speed. Okay, so the cars are going the same speed at t, t equals 0.7 seconds and at t equals 4.3 seconds. So again, let's do another car race and see what that looks like. First, we're going to start out at 0.7 seconds. All right, here's the race going from 0 to 0.7. Let's go ahead and run it. Now again, the red car starts ahead of the blue car, but we're just inter interested in speed. So right here cars are going the same speed at 0.7. All right, our other value, I've already forgotten what that was, was 4.3. So I'm just going to plug in 4.3 right here for our second x value. It just gives us a chance to pause it at that particular moment. And this is just approximation, okay? But just notice right at the finish line here, right when they stop, right here, they're going the same speed, okay? Now let's see what this looks like on the graph. Give me one second. All right, here's what happens when I graphed that, when I set them equal to each other, moved everything to one side. We can see that it crosses the x-axis here, crosses right here at 0.7 and around 4.3. So that's it for this example. If you have any other questions about it, let me know.